What? That is ridiculous. Are you kidding me? This is this is insane, dude. What? This is ridiculous. You guys got to see this insane. Check it out. Yo, let me get a little bit of drums in there. Can we throw a little bit of drums in there? Can I get a little bass? How about some bass? Can I get some bass? Guitars. We got a little guitar in there. Let me get a little guitar. Yo, can I get a vocal here? Let me get a vocal. This is ridiculous. What do we got for other? Guys, the new remix tool here in DaVinci Resolve, it's ridiculous. It is so good. It allows you to mix your songs pretty much however you want. I'd venture even to say that there's really not a need to have stems anymore for the most part. Now, some people might need them, but for the most part, you could jump in here and remix your music however you want. So let's take a look at this remix tool here and see how it works. Now, one important thing to know is that if you are familiar with Adobe's remix tool, this is not that. So what I understand that to be, because I've never actually used it, is that it will take the length of your song and you can remix it down to a shorter length or a longer length. It'll automatically remix and fit it to your video track or however long that you specify. So this tool in DaVinci Resolve does not do that. This is a different tool, although it sounds like it might be similar, it's actually not. The way that this works is it allows you to remix the songs, which is probably a better name and a better tool that corresponds with the name for remix there. It allows us to change things within the music track itself. So if we want more, more or less vocals, more or less drums, bass, guitar, or the other instruments that surround our musical track, we can adjust those in different ways or remix it. So remix tool in DaVinci Resolve is gonna allow you to change the way that the music sounds. So let's just jump in here. I wanna show you the tool. We'll run over the few parts and pieces here. It's really easy to use. And then you guys can start making some awesome music on your own here. Check this out. So where can we find this remix tool here in DaVinci Resolve? You wanna open up your inspector right here at the top right. And then you wanna come down to your audio track and you wanna select your audio track. If you just click on it in this area here, it's gonna select the track for you. And over here, we've got our new tools. And right here we have the music remixer. So all you have to do is turn it on for our track. Now we can adjust the parameters right here in the inspector, but I like the little pop out window here that you can click by this guy right there. And that's gonna give us our little window right here. So we can just use the dials and the mute buttons here to make the changes that we wanna make. Now where it's set by default is so that the music sounds exactly as it was downloaded or exactly as you put it into DaVinci Resolve. So if I play through a little section of it here, we got our track Track, audio track number one, here's what it sounds like. Okay, so that's kind of what the music sounds like from the beginning there. Now let's say maybe I want to take the guitar out because I kind of like the way the bass and the voice sound. All I have to do is take the guitar dial and dial it back to either lower it or drop it all the way out, or I can just hit the mute button here if I want to completely get rid of it. Here's what it sounds like, check this out. Maybe you want a little more bass in there. We can crank that up a little bit. I think you know, we're getting down, we're getting low. So now we have the drums coming in, and what if we want to boost or lower them? Just grab the dial, make a quick change. It's really easy. Check it out. Maybe you want to take out the vocal. I like this that we can remove the vocals because sometimes I like some music. Maybe I want to use it underneath, you know, part of my video or even under where my talking head stuff is, but it's got singing in it and I don't want the singing, but I like the beat and stuff. So we can use the voice tool here to just take out that singing. We don't need to keep that in there. And then I can lay it under whatever video that I want. And there's a lot of times where I just want that drums and bass kind of beat. And instead of having to search somewhere and find music that just has drums and bass, here I can just tell Resolve, hey, I only want drums and bass. I'm going to take out the vocals along with the guitars and any of the other instruments that fall into that other category. And then I'm just left with my drums and my bass. And I like that a lot. Now, another thing that's really cool that I think will be fun to play with this a little bit is to take multiple songs and remix them together using this tool. So what do I mean by that? Let me show you. 
So I've got several different tracks here with different songs in it, and maybe I want to mix these together a little bit. Maybe I like the, uh, the, the vocals from my track one, so I can come in here and I can turn on my vocals. I'm going to turn everything else off. And then in my second track here, let's see what this sounds like, and we'll see if there's a part of the track that we want to actually use. So let's say from this one, this bass line sounds kind of cool. Maybe I want to keep that on my track number two here. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to get rid of the voice. Let's get rid of the guitar and the other. I'm going to keep, uh, we'll keep the bass and we'll see how that sounds. What, what does it sound like if we mix these two together? I feel alive. I think you know. Hey, kind of interesting, right? We can remix songs together, find songs that maybe have the same, you know, amount of beats per minute or maybe sound kind of similar. Well, we can start to remix this together and make our own music to sound however we want and use in our videos. Because sometimes it's hard to find that like perfect piece of music and you're like, oh, this is good. I like it. But if it didn't have this part, it would be better. It would fit my music better. Or maybe I like, you know, something from this song and then that song. Let's put it together here and make our own music. Really, really cool. Let's check out our last track here, see if there's anything cool in there we want to add in. Go ahead and mute my other two tracks. Unmute my track number three. I'm going to bring up my remixer for track three. Let's just see what we got. All right, so I hear some guitar in there. Let's drop all these guys down. Maybe we'll just use the guitar from this track. Let's try it. All right, I'm going to leave the guitar and the other up because it seems like maybe it's getting a little confused with the guitar and the other because it sounds almost a little synthesized or whatever. But hey, that's all right. No worries. Let's go ahead and unmute our other two tracks. Let's just see what these three tracks sound like together when we've grabbed the vocal from one track, the bass from another track, and then we've got our guitar and other instruments from yet a third track. All three different songs that you can see right here in my timeline. Let's take a listen, see what we got. And yet we add in the drums there on that third track. It sounds pretty good. I mean, for just doing it real quick and throwing it together, it sounds good. I mean, you could take more time and kind of put together different pieces of songs, really give yourself and your videos a really unique sound by using the remixer tool here in DaVinci Resolve 19. I think this is just a really game-changing tool that we're going to be able to use here in Resolve because, like I said, there are tons of times where I find a song, I'm like, I like that song, but it's got, it's got uh, vocals in it, and I, I can't have the vocals in it underneath me when I'm doing some talk talking head stuff, or maybe it's just not fitting with, you know, the, the particular part of my video, right? It's not conveying the same message that I want for the video, right? So I can just use this tool, drop out those vocals, and dude, you are good to go there. You're going to have music that's customized for your project that you can make however you want and just really make it fit with exactly what you want in your project. So that is just one of the awesome features here when it comes to audio in DaVinci Resolve 19 Blackmagic. You guys knocked it out of the park there with uh, Resolve 19 here. So much great stuff. I've got a lot more videos to make, a lot more things to play with and try, and uh, try and give you guys just a little new perspective on some of these new tools instead of just saying, here it is, here's the buttons and here's the dials, because that's kind of boring, right? And everybody else has already done that, because, you know, I've already seen some of those videos. So let's see what we can show you guys with these new tools that uh, really take it to the next level and just give you another way to expand your creativity. Oh, by the way, if you want to know how to mix all your audio and stuff, I've got a class for you. Audio Essentials for Video Editors in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about mixing your dialogue, sound effects, music, all that fun stuff when it comes to audio. Teach you how to do it and how to make it sound the best that you can. All right, with that said, I am out of here. Going to learn some more Resolve 19. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.